guys, John here for Obese the Beast, and it is my day off of both jobs today, which does not happen very often, so I'm very excited about that. So I figured, since I'm off both jobs, I would make a video for you guys. It's going to be a short one, as you can see by the title, you know what I'm going to be talking about. Um, I want to touch on the subject of extreme weight loss. So for people that have to lose, like, like I had to lose over 80 pounds, you know what I mean? 80 pounds, 100 pounds, 160 pounds, 200 pounds. The thing that sucks about having to lose that much weight is you have to lose that much weight. But the good thing is when you first start, little changes that you make will be big changes in your body. And so I wanted to bring up three topics that I think that will, three changes that you can make that I think will help you in the beginning. Just three simple things you can change that will help you lose weight and that will just keep you going. You know what I mean? That will, that, that helped me. This is basically stuff that helped me in the beginning that I, I believe that if I let you guys know, hopefully it will help you guys out. That's why they're making this video is to hopefully help someone out. So, um, the first topic I wanted to talk about is, um, drinking your calories. So I know when I was heavier, I used to drink soda all day long and I would drink probably about 1500 to 2000 calories worth of soda every day. You know what I mean? I was drinking a two liter probably every day, two liter or more every day. So if you're drinking your calories, really look at what you're drinking. Obviously, if you're drinking soda, everyone knows soda is terrible for you. So stop drinking soda. <laughs> but if you're, if you're drinking juices and stuff like that, look at the calories on them. Look at how much, how many calories are in them. Look at how many servings are in each bottle. You know what I mean? The, this Gatorade right here, this has 80 calories, but there's two and a half servings in this. So it's not 80 calories if you drink the whole thing. It's what, 160, uh, it's like 250, 250 calories, 230 calories, something like that. So you know what I mean? You have to focus on how many calories and how many servings are in each drink that you're drinking. Um, so the easiest way for me to do it was I just kind of just stopped drinking anything that had any calories in it You know what I mean? I was just drinking like water or uh, zero calorie waters. I like these right here uh, These are like the refresh they have um Different they're sparkling so like if you do like soda a lot like me they help you out I try not to drink them all the time because I mean obviously you don't want to have that be addicted to something else You know what I mean take something and then become addicted to something else So I drink these there's zero everything you know what I mean? I'm sure there's a lot of things that shouldn't be in there that you shouldn't be drinking but you got to take the good with the bad so that's something I very much recommend don't drink your calories anymore and then moving on tip number two this is gonna be one that might be just obvious to a lot of people but I mean some people may, might not, might need to hear this um, stop eating out <laughs> at fast food places at least you know what I mean stop just cramming your face full of stuff that you know is unhealthy for you stop going to McDonald's stop going to Burger King yeah, there's times for those places, but don't make that a place that you eat every single day. You know what I mean? Don't let that become part of your diet. Every single day is going to Burger King or McDonald's. You know what I mean? Prep your meals. Get your, buy your food. Cook your own food. Don't let other people cook your food for you. You know what I mean? Do your, do, cook your own food for yourself. Don't go to McDonald's. You know what I mean? Because at that place, there's so many terrible things, but if you just want to think about calories, there's a lot of calories in all those foods that they have there. So you have to be careful. And if you do go there, there are healthier choices. So you don't have to get the Big Mac. You know what I mean? They have the wraps. They have the salads. They have, um, and then with the salads too, you have to be careful with salads. There's, if you just throw all the dressing that they give you on the salad, that, that salad is basically just as bad as a Big Mac for you. So you have to be careful. You know what I mean? You have to read what, what it says that's on the dressing, what's in the dressing, how many fat, how much fat is in the dressing. You have to be, just just be knowledgeable. Think about, just just read things, you know what I mean? This is another tip, you know what I mean? That's kind of in the same vein as the first one is um, don't drink your calories. It's kind of just become informed about calories. Look at what's inside of things, you know what I mean? Read the, this stuff. This stuff is meant, meant to be there to help you out. It's not meant to be there because, I mean, it's obviously there because they have to put it there, but it's there to help you out. And if you learn how to read this stuff and kind of understand how it's going to affect your body, that's really going to help with your weight loss. Um, tip number three that I want to make, this isn't going to be something that's kind of like physical that you can do. This is more of a mental game, is when you start losing weight, understand that this is not going to happen right away. You know what I mean? This is gonna take time and you have to understand that if you're looking at someone that's already lost weight or is this is where you want to be and you're kind of comparing yourself to them stop doing that because that's just gonna just gonna make you sad make you mad make you frustrated with where you are if you've already made progress if you've already made the, ch the decision to change you're already further along than you were yesterday you understand what I'm saying so if you've already made that decision don't let 
the fact that you're not where you want to be stop you from becoming that person you know do you, does that make any sense like if you're letting the future you that you want to achieve mess up the present you that you are there's no point you know what i mean like just focus on yourself today every battle that you win every meal that you eat that's healthy every workout that you get is all going to get you to the point that you want to achieve so i hope this video helped i know it was kind of random but i just wanted to put something out for you guys and i wanted to make a video that wasn't 15 minutes long for you guys to watch so uh, tell me what you guys think about this video. I know it's kind of a short one. Um, I hope it helped anyone out. I, I just I just want to be able to put out more videos frequently and doing vlogs throughout the whole day. It's kind of hard to, to do a vlog every single day. You know what I mean? So videos like this that only take me about 10 minutes to film are a lot easier to get out to you guys. So I hope this video helped anyone. If it helps one person, that's awesome. Seriously, that, that makes me so happy. So if you guys like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section down below. Seriously, I would love to answer any of your questions down there. And if you guys are not subscribed to me already, please do that. I, I, I really appreciate it. Seriously. And you'll get an update on every single video that I put out. Um, there was one of the things I needed to say. Oh, yeah. Look up on fire. <laughs>